Today is November the 11th, 2014. Hi, this is Frank Damore, the author of The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. This is what the book looks like, and you can get my book today for free. How are you going to do that? Just go over to my website that you see bouncing at the end of the screen here. And once you're at the website, there'll be a link there. Click the link and you can download my book today for free. Now, one of the things that I wanted to share with you, because it just popped up in the news uh, two days ago, that, and I didn't relate this to you, and it is very, very important, is information about Iran. Now, in the scriptures, we know as I said yesterday in my video, that there's going to be still two more wars against Israel, main wars. And that would be the Psalm 83 war that you see on the left, and then the Ezekiel war, which you see on the right. Now, when you look at the Psalm 83 and the Ezekiel 38 war, you'll see the nations that are listed who are going to come against Israel to try and annihilate the nation of Israel. That's what the prophecy tells us. That's what the outcome will not reflect, but that's what these nations who are listed are going to try to do. And of course, we hear the verbiage of that today coming from the very people that God said they would be saying these things. So, both what happens to the Psalm 83 war and the Ezekiel war, they're intermingled. And let me give you one example of it. Right now, as you see from the left-hand side, the Psalm 83 war, when you come down, you'll see the Palestinians. And, of course, in the Old Testament, they were called the Phoenicians or the Philistines. And now we know for sure what God tells us is that this group of people, the Philistines, the Palestinians who are in the Gaza Strip, they're going to unite themselves with the rest of these nations, Jordan, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Syria, and uh, Iraq also, which is not on this. But they are going to be coming against the nation of Israel. Now, on the Ezekiel side, I want to focus today about Iran. Because I've been warning many, many times, and I'll show you one of my warnings, that Iran is butting heads with Israel. And there's no doubt there's going to be a major confrontation between Israel and Iran. And it looks like that confrontation is heading very, very close because of the, the new uh, outcome that we just saw that there really is no outcome. And what I mean by that, Israel has said over and over again that they would have to attack Iran if Iran didn't stop their nuclear program of which Iran wants to develop a nuclear bomb to use against the Israelis. And for years, ever since Barack Obama was placed in office, I've been warning, nothing is going to come of this. There was not going to be any stop by the Iranians. The Iranians have a thought in their mind to destroy the nation of Israel. Let me go over and show you one of my warnings that I gave to you about Iran. This comes from my November the 21st, 2013 warning called Equiescence. And when you scroll down and you start at the 11.9 mark in this video, you'll hear what I said back in 2013 about Iran. It's to fulfill Bible prophecy. And Satan wants Israel to be destroyed so that the prophecies cannot be completed. So knowing this information, let's go back and take a look at some of the things that I've been telling you about. Now, I've been warning you to watch these things because Israel is going to have to attack Iran to stop their nuclear facility because they're going to be on their own to do it. You can't rely on the United States or anybody else. Here's some of the warnings that I posted in the past. Let me go over to a couple of them. Now, here's one from January the 29th of 2009. I'm going to just scroll down to You'll see it right here in the covered in the blue. Here are the facts. Israel is running out of time to deal with Iran's surge in obtaining a nuclear bomb. 
And for the past two years, the Israeli officials have warned that they will take out Iran's nuclear site if the UN cannot get them to halt their production. At the same time Israel is warning Iran, Iran comes back and says, we will never stop the nuclear program. Let me add these facts. If you are new to my site, you may not know this, and you should. Israel warned Iraq and Syria about their nuclear ambitions just the way they are now warning Iran. And Israel bombed both Iraq and Syria's nuclear site and put an end to their quest for obtaining a nuclear bomb. What would make you think Israel won't carry out their word that they will destroy Iran's site? Now, that was just one of my warnings, and I can't put them all up here for you, but you're going to have the link there, and you could read the whole article if you want. Now, in that article, I even gave you a, a YouTube video to just to show you what I was saying was the truth that the Iranians said that they're not going to stop and it's carried on ever since 2009. So let me show you one of those videos. Iran's Foreign Minister Manachir Mataki says Tehran will never halt uranium enrichment even if the West guarantees its need for nuclear fuel. Mataki made the remarks at a joint press conference with, with his visiting Venezuelan counterpart. Zhang Wei has more on the story. Speaking after talks with the Venezuelan Foreign Minister Nicolas Maduro, Motaki confirmed Iran's intentions to continue its nuclear activities despite international objections. He said that the Western countries are not trustworthy and spoke out about what he saw as the biggest hindrance to Tehran's developing atomic activities. All right, so you get the gist there. I just wanted to connect the dots for you. All right, so... Just like I did back in 2013, I'm going to stop this video and come up to the more current news because another year has passed. Barack Obama not only hasn't done anything to stop the Iranians from building or getting hold of this nuclear material to turn it into a nuclear bomb to be used against Israel, but he is now, in these latest talks, he's actually helping. Iran. He's not slowing them down. He wants to make a deal, which I gave to you a couple of days ago in the video. So you can go to my website, just scroll down to the different dates, and you'll see that video that I placed up there. But let me, let me get to you now the new information. This came out November the 9th, 2014. And here's the title to the head article, Khomeini the only cure for Israel is its annihilation. And of course, that theme of what is being said by the Iranian supreme leader is the exact same theme as we see both in Psalm 83 and in the Ezekiel 38 war. It says, Iran's supreme leader Hayatollah Khomeini on Saturday once again called for Israel's destruction. Khomeini's latest provocation came in a series of tweets in which he launched a triad against the Jewish state and called to arm Palestinian Arabs in Judah and Samaria. This is the reason why I put up the wars, both wars, the Psalm 83 and the Ezekiel 38 war, because I want to show you that the Iranians are in bed with the same people that are going to fight Israel in that first war. In this case, arm the Palestinians, which they have been doing for years. It goes on to say, and we'll start it right here, this barbaric, wolf-like, and infantile regime of Israel, which spares no crime, has no cure but to be annihilated, read one tweet. The only means to confront a barbaric regime like Israel is arming West Bank. And of course, the West Bank, you have the people that are marked in that Psalm 83 war. Read another tweet by the Supreme Leader. We've seen hundreds of times that Israel doesn't abide by peace. They didn't even tolerate Arafat, who cooperated with them and poisoned him to death, charged Khomeini in another post, referring to the death of the former Palestinian Authority Chairman Yasser Arafat. West Bank should be armed just like Gaza. 
Friends of Palestine should do their best to arm people in West Bank, another tweet read. This is certainly not the first time that Khomeini has called for Israel's destruction. Last month, the Iranian leader accused Israel of having no limit of boundaries regarding viciousness, cruelty, and trampling underfoot all human standards of ethics, crimes, genocide, mass destruction, the killing of children, women, and homeless they take pride in. Now, what this article won't tell you is what he is referring to, what Khomeini is referring to, is the latest conflict between Israel and the Palestinians in the Gaza. Now, of course, what they're not saying in this article is that Israel was minding their own business until the rockets and these missiles started to fall in Israel and they couldn't tolerate that so they had to move in to stop the people the terrorists who were firing in these missiles mortars and rockets into the israeli territory to try to kill as many israelis as they could so what we have here here's the bottom line the bible tells us straight out iran is going to be in a in a war that is going to try annihilate the nation of israel you see the Iranian leader say the exact same thing that we see in prophecy. Not only that, but he is arming the exact same people that are listed in the Psalm 83 war. And it is not a coincidence. We are seeing the footsteps, as I said a hundred times before, the footsteps to the first war, the Psalm 83 war. Now, Iran when they see that Israel wins that war, like they have won every war that they were placed in, Iran is going to be irate, and we know what's going to happen. So what should you expect? Well, you should expect more problems in Israel with, without a question. You're going to see a lot of flare-ups on the Temple Mount like we have been seeing for the past couple of weeks again. There's going to be more uprisings against Israel. And then there's going to be a major war, the Psalm 83 war, of which Iran will be supplying many of the armaments that will be used in that war against the Israelis. But Israel, bottom line, is going to win. So if you don't believe, just like I said back in 2013 and my previous warnings, just stand by because you're going to see everything that the Bible has shown us through prophecy. And at that point, I'm hoping once you see it actually take place, you'll come to realize Jesus is the real Messiah. Now, about the United States, or anybody else for that matter, stopping Iran's nuclear quest, just like I've been warning, nothing has happened. This article came out 20 hours ago, which would have been the 10th of November 2014. Iran and the West end round of nuclear talks outcome unclear. It says Iran and the United States and the European Union ended two days of high level talks on Iran's nuclear program on Monday with no immediate sign they had bridged gaps ahead of November the 24th deadline of an agreement. A senior Iranian official told Rutgers that minimal progress was made in the talks in Amman. After hours of talks, we could make little progress, the officials said. Still differences remain and still we have gaps over issues. And again, let me warn you once again, nothing is going to come of it. The Iranians are not going to stop their quest to get a hold of this nuclear capability to try to destroy the nation of Israel. And I say try because it's never going to happen. Iran is not going to destroy Israel. We know that from the outcome from Ezekiel chapter 38. Now here's a question to pose because Israel's been waiting for years to see what was going to happen. They've given the United States, they've given the European Union time to stop the Iranians from making progress of getting hold of a bomb and nothing has happened. So here comes the deadline, November the 24th. What will Israel do? Well, we know for sure that Israel's been gearing up. They've been practicing for assaults against the Iranian nuclear facilities. 
And I firmly believe that the past history of Israel and what they have done to Iraq and Syria will be again carried out on Iran because Israel knows Iran is just like Hitler, their leader, and he wants to destroy the entire nation of Israel. And obviously, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu cannot let that happen. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the very near future.